better way to start than with some positivity. We have Wayward Whiskers Rescue here today, and they are a cat rescue, a nonprofit that takes in injured or strict, uh, sick stray cats in the Alamo City, helping them find the perfect forever home. Executive Director <laughs> Sherry Fow is here. That wasn't her. That was. <laughs> this is. This is blue. This is blue. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. Oh, it's going. Oh, don't lose oh, your lungs gonna... there, pal. So, okay. There you go. <laughs> so you take in uh, stray and injured cats, mm -hmm. right? Right. Was he stray? And he he is actually from Kuwait. Um, he came from Kuwait, where they are a little bit more lax on their animal cruelty laws, um, mm -hmm. and so cats over there don't get treated very well. So he was actually rescued over there, and then he flew here on a 21 hour flight wow. and um, came to us about a week ago. So he is actually oh, FIV positive, um, which is a feline immunodeficiency virus. Mm -hmm. So it's basically, it suppresses his immune system, but he is totally healthy. As you can see, he has no problem eating. Um, <laughs> now can the FIV be cured? It cannot be cured. Okay. It is something that they're gonna have the rest of their life, but it is not highly contagious. So if you have another cat, and as long as they get along... As long as they get along. Unlike, because I was mistaken when I was reading about it, I was thinking mm -hmm. it was contagious, but that's the feline leukemia. Right, exactly. Feline leukemia is contagious, so when the cats are, are in the same room together or living together, it can be passed that way. But with FIV, it's only passed if they bite each other. So okay. they would have to really hate each other to pass it along. And as far as humans are concerned, this is of no concern. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. Okay. People cannot get FIV. So the rehabilitation for the cats, tell us a little bit about that because mm -hmm. we have another friend down here. We do. Um, so Gray is also FIV positive. Let me get him here. He weighs about 15 pounds. Oh, hey, Gray. <laughs> so this is Gray. He actually came to us with some head trauma. Um, oh. As you can see, if you zoom in on his eyes, his eyes are dilated a little bit differently. Mm-hmm. Um, and that is from head trauma. It does not ever go away, but it doesn't affect his day-to-day um, -day life at all. How and much does he eat? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, how much does he eat? Boy. That's a great question. He's, he's like, wow. He eats a lot. He's a 15-pound hefty guy. So, And he's super sweet, but he's a little scared today. So I'm just going to hold him he so he doesn't. He was wandering around earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got into some trouble earlier. So We lost him earlier. <laughs> yeah. him somewhere behind yeah, him. Yeah, so we did. Here, so. He was just kind of hanging out, looking around. Yeah, and he's you, good. And you mentioned that adopting cats, that's a little bit more of a challenge. Everybody has dogs. We talked yeah. about that earlier. So, so you encourage people who... Even if they're not maybe a cat person, what would you say yeah. to them? To well, cats cats get a bad rap. Um, and I think that, you know, if you just get to know one, if you had a bad experience as a kid with a cat and, you know, you got scratched or bitten or something, um, you got to give them another chance because they're super sweet, mm -hmm. super friendly. Um, and they're, you know, a lot of them are kind of like dogs. This yeah. one will follow me around everywhere and he loves on me and he likes <laughs> to be held and he's super sweet. So and the nice thing about cats too, they're pretty much self-sufficient as far as, I mean, you mm -hmm. put down food and water and then yep. the litter box, just keep it nice and chained. You yep. don't have to let them out or anything like nope. that. So if you're in, a, in an apartment or something, it'd be perfect. Yeah, answer. exactly. Apartments, um, we've actually had some adoptions with college dorms. Um, oh, nice. If the dorm allows animals, we've adopted cats to there. Um, and yeah, you don't have to walk them in the, in the freezing cold. Like it's been, you know, 30 degrees the last few days. You don't have to take them out for a walk in that. Okay. Obviously, you work on donations. Mm -hmm. How does somebody mm -hmm. donate? Mm -hmm. So if you go to our website, um, I think they've put, they're putting it on the screen, and we can donate through PayPal. Um, we also have our Amazon wish list. So if you want to send us some food, as you can see, we go through it really quickly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you All just right. about to clean that up in this whole segment. Well, for yeah. more information on Wayward Whiskers Cat Rescue, just visit salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. I hope they find some perfect forever hash. Sure, thank you very much.